And we have a little bit of time left that we save for some uh, discussion. Not a, not a lot of time left here as we wind up day three. But uh, a central goal for us is to have people start um, interacting on this issue and give ideas to us. You know, I, I put one of my own questions to the community in the doc, sort of to reverse it rather than thinking of us as a panel, that uh, we want to help coordinate activities that the community is already doing. For example, many of us work with uh, groups and centers that have summer schools and workshops. How do we coordinate that? Do we just aggregate information about events so that people can share it? Do we have some sort of hybrid event where the uh, organizers of those workshops get together and talk about how they're going to run their event? Do we facilitate sharing materials? Most events are sharing them in, in their own ways. Can we cross link and make those materials interoperable? Um, is a place on our website enough? You'll hear in a little bit from Selena Fitzgerald, who's our communication specialist in MARTA, uh, about um, the new website that'll be rolled out um, fairly soon for MARTA, and we'll have space for Marsh in there. Um, so understanding what works for the community and what you need is critical to us. And uh, I think maybe the best way to go is uh, we can read out some questions in the doc. Have any of the other Martian folks been reading there and want to present something? Um, but I think people should also feel free to raise a hand and unmute themselves. Looking in chat first, and I don't see anything in the docs. John Allison asked if we could expand on these goals of a trusted materials repository working group, discuss general and specialized repositories, talk about what trusted means and how uh and if to make it a criteria um so right. that's yeah i was typing that answer so john was the question of what elaborate and then i was starting to type the answer which is to look at general repositories specialized ones think about what trusted means do we have criteria should we have criteria um uh, uh discuss gaps that there are um develop a couple of you know the idea would be to develop a couple of working groups that would crystallize around the you know the biggest concerns and try to address those with some recommendations um and john we'd welcome your participation and or ideas uh here yeah, I'll, add to, I'll add to that that Thank we you. <laughs> yeah thanks john and thanks kid i'll add to that that we've already heard about core trust seal and trust principles um, in the last few days. And one thing that, uh, you know, we see ourselves doing is being a bridge between <clears throat> things that have happened in other fields and at the International Research Data Alliance and the materials community, so that we don't need to um, start from scratch, figuring out what, a, what might be a set of principles for a trusted repository. We can start with a list and then we can work our way towards how that really works for our field. So David asks whether there's, you know, uh, Additional funding sources would be um, needed to establish some of these standards that we were talking about. And we're academicians, right? So the answer is always yes. But the, the goal of Martian is to bring the community together and come up with the recommendations, right? Create working groups where we can actually um, establish uh, the, the challenges and the needs, and, and hopefully the funding agencies uh, will pick up the recommendations and the findings. Yeah, I think that's a great point. And I think that one thing we heard on day one here from the funding agencies is that they want to hear from the community. And if we can demonstrate that it's more than just two smart people sitting in a corner with a bright idea, but it's really some coordination and working together on these types of issues, that they are excited by that and want to find ways to help with them. I see Matt Neuville from uh, APS has a, a note also. He'd be interested in some Martian activities related to synchrotron X-ray data, um, especially in nearly related fields of geosciences, uh, touch on trusted repositories, ontologies for data sets, et cetera. Those are all great ideas, Matt. I think that um, uh, a really good thing to do would be to brainstorm some of that with the team and start to figure out what that looks like. If it's specific to uh, synchrotron X-ray work or if it um, spreads over to beamline work in general. Although this is a 
NSF funded project. The whole idea here is to network everywhere. So facilities that are DOE funded, facilities that are DOD funded, I think we share a lot of common needs and no one advances by um, drawing boundaries between where the funding came from. So we'd love to do that. And Ali's an answering Chris uh, Klindisbaka, but I'm going to read it out anyway. I think findability of models and model pipelines is going to be crucial and appropriate metadata about those models and associated metrics of credibility, usefulness is going to be important for selecting them. So I think that we all will agree with that. Ali certainly does and has already typed that in. So the question is how we do that and uh, finding that type of well, that findability and that appropriate metadata is going to take community efforts and brainstorming. So another great place that could be coordinated. And 100% that's what we want to accomplish in our uh, workshops. Yeah. And I think so the workshops will really volunteer help. volunteer yourself. <laughs> I think the workshops will really help scope the problem and then sort of start to uh, prioritize things so that we can build working groups that make sense, can be productive, and then can have follow-on working groups as we move forward. So. In the chat, Mark Wood asked uh, uh, about uh, scope involving putting forth recommendations on publishing articles about materials where results are in digital form. It can be e readily digested by others. Compositions, properties, is that in scope and models, inputs and output? I do think that's in scope. I'm not sure if all my fellow PIs will agree or not. Um, I don't think that um, we necessarily have to uh, be a, uh, we don't want to be a vetting agency for what's good and what's bad. Certainly that's the community's work, but finding recommendations on how we move forward on that. We had discussion yesterday, yesterday about Jupyter Notebook publishing and the like that Maxime brought up. And uh, these are issues that uh, we have a lot of knowledge about in different parts of our community. And I think if we pull that together, we can start to understand how that can work and move us towards reproducibility of that stuff. Certainly that is part of FAIR and that is part of open science. And so within scope, it's a good idea. That's Anyone else want to pull one out of the dock before we start pulling this down? The thing is just getting uh, just getting rolling. Yeah, Pawan mentions uh, synchrotron work, uh, case case Western, uh, aggregating some efforts on that on XRD of material uh, materials from synchrotron work. Um, that's very cool. So I think, and I think that that will fit together with what Matt is talking about. I don't think there's much distance between those two things. And uh, a lot of us do work on those different types of materials at the very same beam lines. Uh, 